mentality in this locker room? Yeah, absolutely. We still feel like uh, we're a part. We can keep going. So, um, like I said, once once we get this first one, hopefully we can just go on a roll and keep going. This is the defense the Jags have obviously built over time. What sticks out to you with what they do well? Uh, they, they're good at getting the ball out. Uh, I believe they're like number one in forced turnovers. So, um, just definitely got to check the ball this week. When it comes to uh, the red zone for them, though, I think that's one thing they do struggle with mm -hmm. in, in an opportunity where you guys are looking every week to get better down there. You got to take advantage of that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Got to capitalize down there and um, just get in the end zone, get some points on the board. When it comes to you and Lux's development together, what makes that work? How is that, I guess, the chemistry building each and every week? Yeah, just just banked reps over time. You know, um, what we got in the off season. You know, the rest we get in after practice every now and then. So it's just continue to keep banking good reps and keep it rolling. How much confidence are you building in yourself? Uh, definitely a lot, you know, each, each week when you're able to have decent games, get a few catches, uh, get a little more confidence in you and uh, able to play a little bit better. You mentioned how good they are at getting turnovers. What makes yeah. them so good when you watch them on the field? Uh, they, they play hard, play with a lot of effort, and um, they're just real, real violent at the point of attack when it comes to the ball, you know, punching out and things like that. Rabel's known as a head coach that really higher end as far as leadership, personal relationships. When a team is scuffling like you guys are, what does a guy with that temperament do for the uh, it's it's huge, you know. Just in terms of meeting stuff like that, just making sure everyone knows, you know, we're we're not dead yet, keeping everyone alive, and uh, keeping us positive going forward to go out there and get this win. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's hard when you haven't had a lot of reps thanks to someone, and you have to go in a game and, and do that job. And um, you know, hopefully in practice we can build up that sort of that continuity and and, and chemistry a little bit. Um, you know, but in the room we have overall pretty good chemistry, but it's hard to you know recreate that on the field and you know playing next to each other. What do you see from this Jack solid defense, specifically up front? Yeah, great front. You know, a front that's gonna that's gonna disrupt and penetrate and try to stop the run first and foremost. And um, you know, a tremendous challenge too. They've got they've got guys all over the place. Will talked about the importance of him being a leader in terms of kind of helping this O line in whatever way he can. What have you seen from him in that process? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just it starts with just him doing his job and his knowledge of the offense um, and helping us. Well, that's my points or cadence and stuff like that. I think he's been really encouraging with us in terms of that stuff. Uh, he's done a good job of that. You know, we don't necessarily need him to, to take over and do anything crazy it's just to do his job, and he's done a good job of that so far. And how are you kind of balancing that as a rookie in terms of trying to be a consistent fixture on this O-line among all the change? Yeah, I think it just starts with consistent play um, and just you know doing my job better. Um, that's the, really the, the the biggest thing, and that's how you sort of earn respect for your teammates. Some of the guys that I still talk to, um, some of the coaches, uh, just a little, little mixed feeling. Um, I miss them, miss them. Um, good, I feel the energy, just feel them around. But at the end, after that, then we got to go out there and get the W. Is there anything you do, I guess, general week to week, kind of pregame prep? I don't know if some guys uh -huh. meditate or playlist. Is there anything different you'll do going into this one to kind of get your mind right? Uh, a lot more R and B, just to keep the energy, just to keep it, keep it contained until the game time. Um, but that's probably the only thing that changed. Just a lot more R and B, just to keep my energy at a at a at a good pace until game time. That's what I was gonna say. Is it hard to balance that sometimes when you are so hyped to take on a former team? Yeah, like that? yeah. Especially this week, I'm just trying to keep it the same, uh, not change too much on the energy type. But I mean, everybody know who who played their old team know the type of energy that, that those guys kind of bring. And um, that's that's what I'm bringing this With week. that, how much of an advantage do you feel like you have knowing some of the personnel there? And specifically with Trevor Lawrence, just mm -hmm. how much he's grown. Yeah, he's grown tremendously. Um, but I, I realized, you know, being there, if we get, if we could take a, take away his first read, then the rest, the rest are allowed to get there and things of that sort. They get the ball out fast um, with the first read. If the first read there, he's throwing it right, right there and right now. Um, if it's not, then you see the kind of hesitation, things of that sort. So we, we know and realize that we got to take away the first read so we're able to get to them. How would you describe the offense that has so many weapons? Ah, it's tough. It's tough. Um, but, I mean, Trevor Lawrence run the show. I mean, if, if, if we can get him, get him rattled a lot, then a lot of those throws that he, he makes, he won't be able to make. So, uh, yeah, like I said, last week wasn't good enough. I need to be better than that. And like I said, hopefully this week moving forward, focusing on one position, maybe it'll 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 work out well. I think so. You, I think you and maybe you know, Chris and 
Peter, pretty much everybody came out of the game Sunday saying, hey, it's got to be better. Yes. I mean, I mean, how confident are you that this group of five, whoever ends up being on Sunday, is going to be able to hold up, not only now, but mm -hmm. the rest of the season, kind of help Will? Um, yeah, I think we're pretty confident, especially uh, just going into this week. It's that mindset of we need to be confident. There's literally no exceptions whatsoever. There's no excuses. Like, uh, this is make it or break it. Like, we need to glue. Uh, like, we don't have any other option. Our backs are against the wall. So uh, just having that mindset going forward and being able to just – uh, have the confidence going into the game and glue with the five guys that are out there during practice this week and whoever gets thrown in there uh, is going to be huge for us. And like I said, we uh, we feel like we have something to prove that uh, we, we need to go out there and show it. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be able to do that. So. You feel in some ways like, like hey, at, at that last, I'm getting my shot at left tackle specifically, as, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Certainly what you did in, in college. Um, yeah, always a part of me is going to be excited for that, for sure. Um, uh, I, ultimately, I'm excited to play in the NFL no matter what. It's always a blessing. Um, but, yeah, uh, playing left tackle. Tackle is always a dream.